Harlan International Auto Show kicks off today at the Oregon Convention Center. And that's where we find Core Harlan live this morning with a preview of this year's event. Hey, Core. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ken. This is the be-all and the end-all of uh, new vehicles out here in the 2019 uh, model year. Greg Remensberger is the president of the show here this morning. And uh, first of all, you have got to be the ca tallest car dealer that I think <laughs> I've ever met. So it's nice to meet another tall guy. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's burning at this year's show. Well, where we're standing right now is in the middle of the luxury island out here. We've got McLaren. We've got Lamborghini. We've got Ferrari, Maserati. It's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, surroundings we're standing in. These are not typically your pedestrian cars. These are more eye candy to kind of look at, right? This baby blue, what is it? The baby, baby blue Maserati it's right here? McLaren. Oh, I'm a, I'm sorry, McLaren. Apologize for that. Yeah, this is just, this is just so people can get a little eye candy, yeah? Yeah, you know, they don't make these cars with us in mind as tall people don't fit in these, but they sure are fun to drive when you get behind the wheel. What is, uh, what is uh, you know, the purpose of this is to introduce the 19 fleet of vehicles and all the rest of that. Uh, beyond that, is, is there any, is there any, uh, I mean, that's essentially it, right? I mean, just to get people familiarized with this year's new models. Yeah, you right? know, everybody shops for their cars online nowadays, but you still want to go in and look the, at the car, sit in the car, get that new car smell. And this gives you an opportunity to sit in all the brands, all in one location without salespeople, just come look, see. Uh, ride and drives are really popular. There's 50 different cars you can get behind the wheel with a product specialist and actually go run it through the paces and they'll tell you the, all, the, all the new adaptive cruise control stuff that's in the car and the rest of the technology that's getting built into cars nowadays. Any breakthrough technologies this year? Or are we just going uh, incrementally along uh, assisted driving and all the rest of that? You know, autonomous cars are not quite there yet. The technology is there, but there's still a few kinks they've got to work out so they're putting in the parts that are working right now so that adaptive cruise control and, and lane change avoidance and early warning systems uh, it's the baby steps we need to take in order to get to the point where you can just sit and let the car drive itself our kids will be doing that someday all right from the portland international auto show starting today here at the oregon convention center going through the weekend again a great place jenny and ken if you're looking online to get a car like greg says this is the place to go in a sort of a non-pressure environment to sit in the car kick the tires so to speak check it out i don't think you'll probably be checking much of this out because i got it behind a rail there but uh can a high stepper such as yourself would look good in a little pink uh little pink uh, mclaren like that or, or a ferrari or such or something like that don't you think yeah i think How about a green look, lambo uh, you want a green frog green lambo well uh, i don't know about the uh, green lamborghini but uh, <laughs> i was really really kind of taken aback that you confused a uh, mclaren with a maserati that uh, re Big really difference. just got me right here. <laughs> well, yeah. do, do I look? Do I look like a guy to you that that knows his McLaren from his Maserati mm -hmm. at all times? We've seen your I car. Appreciate the compliment. <laughs> so no, you do not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, Cor. We'll